Hey, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Back here to shoot a video. I was going to try to do one last night, but how about them Chiefs? They pulled it out. Uh, they beat the Ravens. Uh, didn't get to watch much of it. I was at work today. Um, unfortunately. So now I'm watching the Lions and the Niners game. This is a close one. They're all tied up right now. I'm kind of pulling for Detroit. Love to see them go and possibly win a Super Bowl. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing them win a Super Bowl, but playing the Chiefs, that'd be kind of interesting to watch. It'd be a rematch at week one. But anyways, I wanted to uh, show off some cards that we've been getting. Um, Lucas is going to bed, so he won't be joining us tonight. Um, I'll try to do a video with him later in the week. Um, but we haven't done one of these in a while. We've been opening a bunch of retail product and some hobby stuff. So I'll show some stuff we've been pulling out of it. Um, I've gotten some personal stuff for my PC. And we'll show it. Um, also, been trying some grading here of late. Um, I think I've shown some in the past, um, of what I've sent in, but a guy that here locally he does submissions for PSA and SGC, so I've done a little bit of both. Um, I submitted some cards to PSA and SGC back in September, got the SGC ones back. In a couple weeks and then the PSA I just got back a couple weeks ago so it took almost four months so double the time I was getting kind of worried you know never doing it before but uh, I'll go ahead and show some of the graded cards first um, this first card I picked up at the local shop and or no this was a eBay purchase um, again I'm kind of pissed off with eBay you can't use regular gift cards on there no more um, unless it's an eBay gift card obviously but so yeah I'll leave it at that um, but I got this 53 Monty Irvin it's a good looking card I'm not a huge fan of the set but there are some players in here that I like. Um, I'm a Monty Irvin fan. Sorry, I got a little bit of a glare. Beautiful looking card. Take that any day. And then I watched Yogi's documentary here a while back and kind of went into a Yogi kick. Um, it was a fun little documentary. Some interesting stuff. Um, He's probably one of the best catchers of all time, in my opinion. Um, but I picked this up at my local card shop here. Of course, I just smudged the front. I had them in a bag, but I took them out so I can show you it. But now, I, yeah, anyways, here's a 57 Mantle Barra Power Hitters for the Yankees. Got a good price on it. Very happy to have that. And then I got this while I was there too. Got this 68 Maze. I love that pose. And then. Got, I think I showed you all this one, but I don't know, but I'm going to show it again because I am a Clemente collector. I'm just going to leave it in the bag. But I got this beautiful 61 Clemente, got a good deal on it from a local card shop. Um, He's 
something good to my son and I, you know, he gave us a little goodie bag for Christmas, and I pulled a pretty sweet card out of one of the boxes he gave me, but here's a 69 bench, which has been on my get list, another great catcher, um, he's in my top five. Let's see. I think I showed these here, but I'm going to show them again as well. This was an eBay pickup. This is Orlando Cepeda, another phenomenal player. Love these, this set, but they're so expensive, even for the common players. But I got a good deal on it. Here's a 61 Gibson. One of my favorite pictures of all time. Got this beautiful second year Albert Pujols chrome. That was an eBay pickup. I also picked up a ungraded version. Oh man, I love this. And this is one of the SGC submissions I sent in. At one time, I thought about selling stuff, but I'm a hoarder. What can I say? And I got this pretty cool. This was a pack pull a while back. Pulled that out of a pack. Got it graded. There was just one little surface bubble right up in here. That's why you got a nine. And... I submitted this, that uh, Strider was a pack pull at a holiday, and then this I actually purchased at another local shop for like $10, I figured I'd submit it, he's a pretty good player, so I was pretty happy with that. And I am looking at building a display or buying a display. Wood's getting pretty pricey, so we'll see. Uh, got this this graded here. This is one that took four months. Um, got this James Harden. This is a pack pull. This is kind of towards the end of when I stopped collecting. Came back at nine. I was kind of curious on that, but and I'll explain later here once we get closer to the other one out of that set. Um, sorry, I'm putting these in bags as I'm showing them. I should have just left them out and showed you, but I thought this was pretty cool in the way Shohei's been playing. Here's a 21 opening day blue foil. That was a pack pull. It got a 9. But I don't care. It's a beautiful card. Um, this one came out of a Donruss hobby pack from This year, or this past year, from 23, it's Jackson Holiday. It's, it's gold. Whatever pattern it is, but it's out of 99. 25 out of 99. It's a beautiful card. I'll be curious. I kind of liked watching his dad growing up. Plus, there, towards the end of Jackson's college career, he was down Oklahoma State. So, Matt Holiday ventured Wichita State quite frequently for baseball games, obviously. Uh, I never got to meet the guy, but I've seen him a few times. Just 
kind of stood back and let them do their thing. Plus, I was on the clock. Uh, this is another pack pull. Kevin Durant. And this, I actually pulled two of these back in the day. And I graded one, and the shop owner that uh, gives my son and I some good deals every now and then. Um, I sold him the first one that came back. They both came back tens, so I'm keeping this one. Another phenomenal player. I'm not a big basketball fan. Um, I like watching college. Um, pro, yeah, sometimes we'll see. Um, sometimes I just don't like some of their attitudes. No. But all sports are getting like that, so that is that. Uh, sorry, I'm putting some of these cards back as I'm going here, just because. Then I'm going to show you some other cards, hits if you like to call them. Hits and just personal favorites. Yeah, um, this is the beginning of a good ball game here. Pulled this the other night. Got a Topps update out of a hanger. It's a Derek Jeter Topps Black Gold. I don't want to show too much because I don't have anything to show later. Of course, Jordan Walker. Let's see how he does this year. And Corbin Carroll. The NL, MB, NL Rookie of the Year, Rookie Debut, this was out of an update hanger the other night, this blue, I don't know what they call it, but it's out of $9.99, blue foil, I don't know, whatever they call it, Pete Alonzo. Got a couple of mosaic blasters the other night as well. And pulled the case hit. It's a honeycomb of Kenny Pickett. Hopefully, uh, he has a better year next year. Here's a Bryce Young. Here's a NFL debut of CJ Stroud. Then I thought this is cool. This is kind of from my Oklahoma Sooners PC. This Jalen Hurts with the green mosaic or whatever the parallels called. There's so many parallels nowadays, you don't know. But I think that color match is pretty cool. And this come out of a pack here a while back. It's Bryce Harper. Greatest hits. These are pretty cool inserts. This was a pack pool. This green foil, ice foil, whatever they call it. Francisco Lindor out of four ninety nine. I bought a hobby box of series one uh, when they come out and got this gold foil of Gabriel Moreno. Thought that was pretty neat back when he was a Blue Jay. Let's see here. Flipping through the stack. Here's a Chrome Stars of the MLB. Corbin Carroll. And a Mike Trout 3030. Tell you what, a wonder. I'm disappointed. That was, he just shot his career in the foot unfortunate 
of what people do when they ruin their careers. Um, I hope uh, he's remorseful for what he did. And just an idiot. Let's see, this came out of the <coughs> Fair Marvel Ultra Marvel Avengers. My son wanted, and this was out of a blaster. Got the Black Widow Ultra Stars. Thought that was pretty neat. And this came out of Zenith, out of 22. Oh, Aaron Rodgers. This old uh, Revolution. Hopefully, he, he's ready for a comeback with the Jets. Here's the Adley Rushman. Greatest hits. Those are beautiful inserts. I love those. I wasn't too crazy this year on the Stars of MLB. I, they're neat, but I just wasn't too excited about them compared to the year before. Here's the Topps Gold. Just pulled it. Walmart, they had $15 blasters. So I bought a couple of those, pulled that out of it. And then the shop owner that gives us good deals on this and that gave my son a stack of uh, Panini Prison Football and Topps Chrome Baseball. This is in it, Corey Seeger. And the Niners are running away with the football game. And of course, picking up some Don Ross. Got a couple of Bryce Young rookies. This came out of Chronicles Draft Picks from 22. Got this Brock Purdy Prestige. Chronicles Prestige Draft Picks. It's kind of a cool card. This guy's a beast. Christian McCaffrey. Same pack. And this guy, he's a local here in Wichita. Brees Hall. Phenomenal running back. Kind of reminds me of Barry Sanders a little bit. This guy was on fire towards the end of the season. Well, all season. James Cook. This came out of Chronicles. Love these acetate cards. And here's a sauce, black prism, and then the base chronicles, Brock Purdy, Aiden Hutchinson. That guy's gonna gonna have a good career. Another James Cook. And another Brock Purdy. And now, sorry we haven't done anything in a bit. Um, <coughs> life's been kind of crazy. Um, doing a lot of work in here. Um, been doing some studying for my main job for work. Um, Pretty cool card to Saul Aces. Got that out of the blaster as well. His last year. But, you know, this is what it is. So I figured I'd jump on here, show some stuff. Um, hoping you all are collecting some fun stuff and looking forward to seeing you all again. I've been on here for almost 20 minutes now, so I will let you go, and go Chiefs.